What is up guys, my name is Brandon Robles and in this video I'm going to show you how I found almost $300 in potential profit within one hour of sourcing at a Walmart. So my girlfriend is a huge Squishmallow collector and she'll go out of her way to find these rare um, Squishmallows. And so this one was only in stock at a Walmart that was an hour away. So I thought I would tag along and go source at that Walmart, give it a shot, go out of my town and see what happens. Sure enough, when I went in there, this Walmart was great on their clearance. Um, they had stickers on the aisle where the actual toys were, which I've never experienced. I've seen other people see it or I've seen other people show it, but I've actually never seen it. Um, so I knew this had to be a pretty good Walmart. And I went there and I ended up finding a Lego that I'll break down later, but I found two of the same one and for a good price. Um, but the video games is what I'm really here to talk about. Um, I went to the video game section and ended up buying a bunch of clearance that were like significant off, not just the two, three dollars off. I'm talking like literally half off, much more than half off. Um, and so once I saw that, I started scanning and knew I hit like a little jackpot for myself. Um, so I'm going to break down the profit on the video games that I found. Um, and so yeah. What is up guys? So I've been really busy, but I decided to go on a little RA trip because we went to go get something from a uh, from a store further away from me. I figured I'd try out here, right? Um, and we killed it. We got a bunch of video games on clearance. We got some Legos I was gonna try, not necessarily clearance, but a um, little experiment, but a ton of video games on actual clearance going for a crazy amount of profit. Should sell very quickly, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So I'll show you comps, or not even comps, but I'll just show you what they're selling for online right now. But basically, we got a Godfall here, and there was about three, maybe four of them, um, 10 bucks each. And I saw the clearance, and I thought I'd start scanning just because I've been to ones where they, I've done clearance and they're just not good. But these are like very good. Like they were pretty deep discounts for what they were. So I'll show you what they're selling for. Um, three of those. So 20 bucks for that. I don't even know that video game. I usually know mine, but I don't. Um, got a bunch of these all-american ones ten dollars a piece i don't remember what they're going for so there's a bunch of, oh two of those i think one of these here five dollars uh one of these nbas five bucks oh here's a more of those i, I just had one of them five dollars five dollars five dollars uh destroy all humans ten kind of like exclusive edition another one of those transformers Bunch of these Fortnite ones, ten bucks. There was more of them, but uh, gears got that for twenty. That was really fifty bucks, apparently. I think that was a pretty good one too. And then some more Fortnite, some Doom. I think the Doom was really good originally, eighty. So that was really good. Two of those, and then a Planet Coaster, fifteen. So <laughs> not bad, guys. A ton of video games. I really needed it because I had a couple at the house that I wanted to send in and it just wasn't enough for a shipment. So now I've got a shipment's worth, so I'm really excited about that. We may hit one more just to give it a shot. Um, just cause I'm obviously have some momentum going, but worst case, we don't walk out with anything. We still got a list, so not bad. And since I was out here, I was like, what the heck, I'll definitely try and um, source out here. And first one, absolute bust, zip, absolutely nothing at all. And then this one, they actually had clearance throughout the, the aisles, which this is the first time I've seen it. I've seen so many people like find them, but I never have. So there was actually clearance in the aisles, which I've never experienced, so that was cool. There was nothing there. I think there was probably already picked through um, without a doubt, because there was like some pretty good clearance going on. But, um, so yeah, so I didn't get anything there. I said, what the heck? They've had clearance in the aisles. I might as well try the video games. And um, once I started hitting them, I saw, okay, there's a lot of clearance. That's cool, a lot of $5 and stuff. But again, I've just never like struck really good. Um, like I've definitely did well with video games, but like never like those kind of deep discounts for what they were. And um, so I started scanning and sure enough, like I was like literally finding like, I mean, $15 profit, $20 profit. Like real good stuff. Um, obviously the lower you, I mean, the cheaper you can buy, the more uh, profit you can have, or the more flexible you can be with your prices. You just have better profit margins that way. 
Um, so that was really good about these deals. But like the Doom, from what I remember, like it was like $40, I thought about it or something like that. And it was originally 80. Um, and that was great. And then there was like this, and I may have messed up. I may go back out depending like if I do my research, but there was like a 2K22 for the Xbox, but it was like the 75th anniversary one. And um, it was on clearance for like $40. And I don't know if this was just like, just some BS listing kind of thing, but there was the PS5 version and it was selling for like 145. Um, so I don't know if like I messed up or like I made the right call and didn't get it. But um, even then, like even just for people that want to buy it, like that was some pretty good discounts at that Walmart. I was really surprised. It was really exciting finding this stuff finally. Again, like I've, I've, I've done RA a lot of times, especially during fourth quarter. I found great profit um, for like real cheap. But for a while there, I just, I wasn't going out as much because I've been busy with my books. Um, so I haven't gotten that thrill of finding something in a store. So um, finally scanning something and be like, oh, here's some profit here. And then once I scan a second and then the third and the fourth, I'm like, wait, these are all profitable. And I got to a point where like five or six in a row, left to right or right to left, like they were all profitable. So I was like, oh shoot, like I think I hit like a, like a, like a jackpot here. And I kept on scanning and sure enough finding more stuff. So, um, and one of my favorite things is having multiple of the same item because the listing is so easy. So I got a lot of the Fortnites. I got like two of like multiple games. Um, and then I got a bunch of another one, but um, the people were really nice. I was scared they were gonna tell me I can't buy more than one, but no, the lady actually was very happy. I can get a lot off the shelf for her. So all, all around, I helped them out, clear their shelves a bit, and I got some profit from it. So really exciting, um, pretty cool, unexpected. It was actually really funny because I would ask her like, I want these, okay. And then there was, it came up to the ones where like there was five or six of them. And I'm like, I'll take all of them. And she's like, all of them? I'm like, yeah, all of them. And then she's like, what about these? I'm like, yeah, I'll take all three. All three of them? I'm like, yup. And so we just kept on going. She's like, well, are you sure all these? I'm like, heck yeah, I'll take all of them. They're a great profit, but I wasn't gonna tell her that. Um, but yeah, no, it just sounded like I helped them out and I, it helped me out. So it was really cool. And uh, once I get them processed, um, I will give you a little update of how much profit or potential profit I should have, um, average sales range, just things like that, how many units there really were in total. So um, I'll, I'll break it down for you guys in a little bit. So the other video, I showed you exactly what the video games look like, but here I'm just gonna break down the profit of what I'm gonna make on each video game very quickly. So on the first one, it's near Replicant. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. For that video game, I'm actually gonna sell from home because I had a great sales rank and I thought it would sell quickly. I'm gonna profit $10 on that. So it was a little 10 bucks, not a big deal. So for the Transformers, I ended up buying five of those. I bought them for $5 on clearance and I'm looking to profit roughly five to $6 profit on each. So I gave a rough $25 total for those video games. For the Godfall PS5, um, I think I spent $10, I may be wrong about that. I think that was a smaller profit, but a good sales rank. I'm gonna make like $3.40 a piece roughly. Um, and that comes out to about $10.20 for all three of those games that sell, but I'm pretty confident that they will um, sell pretty quickly. I bought Planet Coaster and I believe there was two or three of those. Um, I'm gonna FBM those as well from home because they had great sales ranks. I'm looking to profit $14.18 each and in total profit $42.54 when I sell all of them. Um, I had the NBA 2K, um, not huge profit here, but I'm sending that one into FBA and I'm gonna profit $3.45 pretty quickly. Um, I had Tony Stewart. Um, I'm looking to profit $11 each on that and have a total of $23.36 when I sell them. Uh, about the Fortnite, and I believe five or six of those, um, I'm looking to profit $7.41 each and looking to profit in total $37.05. The next one is Destroy All Humans. I think I got one of those. I'm looking to profit $2.18. Should sell quick, not a ton, but it was worth it for getting so cheap. So here's the big boy here. Doom. I got this, uh, two of these Doom like special edition Xbox, I believe. And um, so I picked them up for $40 each. They were on clearance. They usually, apparently, according to their clearance tag, they had it at 80 bucks. But when I checked on Amazon, they were selling for like $104. 
um, and there was only four sellers. It had like a 60,000 sales rank. So it's definitely up there. I think that sales rank is due to because it's so expensive. So after spending $40, I'm looking to profit $42.73 each with a total of $85.46 when I sell both. So that was a pretty good one. So for this Lego 31108, which I got at a different Walmart another time, but I've been holding on to it for my next shipment. So I think on this one, I spent $29 and I'm looking to profit $23.07 on that. So with all those that I found within that, uh, I'll say uh, probably an hour, hour and 15 minutes at that Walmart, um, and including that one Lego that I found another day, um, I'm looking at $301.73 that I found profit wise. This is not sold, but this is just potential profit that I found within an hour um, that was certainly profitable. So $301.73 is what I found within that hour of being at that Walmart. Um, after doing the shipment, this is post shipment here, uh, the shipping to FBA will cost me $12.78. So I thought that was pretty good um, for one hour of sourcing and it probably took me I would say like 30, 40 minutes to just pack them up because it was pretty easy to pack them up. So I thought I would just share this with you guys. Um, obviously going to other towns, maybe an hour or two away, obviously seems to be worth it. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys this. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below with any questions you may have. DM me at the Brandon Robots on Instagram as well if you ever have any questions. Remember what I say, guys. Stay hustling. I'll see you in the next video. Ice in my veins. I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. There's no stop in this frame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes.